It's happening. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to another setting podcast with me, Jake, and him, Nikki. Nikki, how you doing? I'm good. It's a weekend. Uh, I'm celebrating uh, a family festival on Friday, so I was hungover yesterday. I was sitting on the couch, nice. it's 30 something degrees. I didn't move yesterday, didn't move at all today. I watched all the Olympics. Uh, I read Harry Potter, book number seven, yesterday. What? Looking back, it's awful. <laughs> Oh no! But d yeah, that's why you shouldn't reread. You should only keep it as a as your child's mind. Never go yeah, back. Yeah, probably, probably yeah. memories. Huh? Yeah. yeah, man, it's incredibly hot today. I just went to a sauna and I could, I really couldn't stand it. It was way too hot. Ah, uh, did you go to Eight Mile to the sauna? Uh, uh, Mile End. Eight yeah, mile. <laughs> yeah, I went to Mile End. <laughs> mile End. Every every single Sunday now, I go to the sauna if I have time. We have a group. That's Very good. good. Yeah, I should I should do this as well. But <clears> I'm <throat> sitting here. Watching all the Olympics, like Germany just lost a handball silver medal. Uh, yeah. A German woman lost like the, the the indoor cycling sprint, which is intense, silver medal. But um, did you see any yeah. of the U.S. basketball team last night? Uh, no, I don't know why. One of the most impressive, well, a very 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 entertaining game. LeBron was a wrecking ball, just uh. just block blocking and dunking on everyone, and uh. and Curry. I think Curry scored like seven or eight three pointers in the game. Like yeah. crazy. Yeah, I've seen this. Like I've seen him like scoring like like the five to like the five <laughs> zero gap or whatever. And then like, okay, so we're good. done here. <laughs> so we're we're a day late with the report on the women's final. Why? What did you oh, do? Why? Because that was so important. Dude, I had to go to a wedding. It was very busy. Yeah, I had to go to a wedding, and then um, I thought maybe we could get it done in the evening, but I was. I was too late. Me and Di got home and we fell asleep straight away. Me too. Yeah, uh, happy, 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 happy uh, wedding. What, what do you say? Like happy, uh, mm. happy couple. What, what, what's like the expression? Congra Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on getting married. Chris, you did it. You did it, Chris. And sunshine. Yeah. Well done. And sunshine. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, and so also congratulations to Yanni Garnbrett for taking gold. And congratulations yeah. to Brooke for silver and Jesse for bronze. Fantastic. Yes. We're Did you enjoy now, right? the final? <laughs> 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 okay, bye. Thanks for Jake. Jake out. <laughs> did I did I, did I uh, enjoy watching the finals? Uh, I think from a setting point of view, I did not enjoy it as much as the men's route. Oh, ah, oh, okay, interesting. But like from a pressure pressure point of view, or like the men's round is always like way more open, or it feels way more open. While uh, in the women's round, it's really like. It's like back in the days, Tour de France, there's only Lance Armstrong. It's like Michael Phelps at the Olympic Games. There's only one guy, one mm. woman to beat. And yeah. this is Janja. And I think you could clearly see that she was under a lot of pressure. And um, uh, someone wrote me a message that after the bouldering round, which we will talk about in a bit, that she was, like after the competition, she was interviewed by the Slovenian uh, TV whatsoever. And apparently after the bouldering round, she went back into isolation and cried like to get it all out and really? uh, we will probably talk about her finger that it looked like she might have an injury whatsoever mm. or not but like there was so much pressure on her and <coughs> i really enjoyed watching this yeah like I seeing think how she deals with it although we we and everyone thought it was a foregone conclusion that she would she would easily take gold in the end she had to really work for it which was very cool to see um yeah it wasn't it wasn't just a walk for her um mm. brooke and i and everyone else put the really put the pressure on she had to yeah she had to earn that gold which was sick to see which is yeah well i thought it was very entertaining i actually really liked from a setting point of view too i really enjoyed the boulders hmm yeah, uh, then we start with the boulders, huh? <laughs> On that note, we should go straight into uh, boulder number one. So, say, same as the men's, Electric was on the same panel. Electric came first. Um, fine, fair enough. I think we've got used to that pattern now. Um, yeah. it's, good, it's good for viewing. I'm okay with it, to be honest. Yeah, we had six tops, and I think the most um, disappointing scoring issue we had or like not not issue for scoring was uh, that Aimori didn't even get into the start position yeah which yeah like I think we talked about it she's not as good 
yet in the dynamic style and uh, like I'm really curious to see whether she wants to improve on this style of her climbing or yeah. whether she's going like just purely on into lead staying with lead and if in LA we might have like three different medals that she's just like a lead climber and yeah. which works out yeah. for sure I, I would I would put money on her going lead only in the future um, yeah. I actually saw on I don't know if you follow Alberto um, I saw his post he um, he put a report of his Olympics on and he, he basically mm -hmm. said he's looking looking forward to becoming a lead climber again getting back on the rope it sounded yeah. like sounded like he's He's done with Boulder now, done with the combined format. So perhaps I will yeah. do the same thing. Um, yeah. And yes, so, so Boulder won, I think um, it's important to say it's not the fault of the setter that she couldn't, of no. the setters that she couldn't get on board because like you've said before, Brooke is basically the same height, but Brooke is just better at jumping. That's yeah. unfortunately yeah. The, yeah. the fact. Yeah. Do you, what we should do? I will write that down. Like when we have an athlete on, like who is deciding, for example, like Albe like you said, Alberto, is he is he purely changing because he doesn't like bouldering at all, or maybe he doesn't like the style of the boulders? Could be like that if it's like more problem solving, like more, um, more like like at a World Cup, you never know like which kind of boulders are on the wall. M maybe mm. he would like it. But yeah, he's he's a really good lead climber in itself. But uh, it would be interesting to see like how they change, if they change, and why. <clears throat> yeah, it's yeah, it's the no no. I've mm -hmm. phew, that's okay. You didn't interrupt me. I think um, that's the most in interesting thing coming up in the next couple of years, like whether the combined will stay or not. Yeah. Um, I hope it doesn't stay personally, but I think I think you hope it does stay. <laughs> I, yeah, I hope it stay, uh, sticks around, like in a, in in another way somehow, like that the bouldering is like yeah. a little bit more obvious. But yeah, okay. So finally, we finally we found something we disagree on. I think there's a lot of like we we would disagree upon, but yeah, maybe <laughs> Let, let's see. Yeah, like you you don't like handball apparently. I was just watching the handball game, which was disappointing. But um, uh, I'm sorry, it just doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, may, it, it makes more sense to me than breakdancing, but that's another that's another thing. We don't need to talk about that. Um, okay, boulder number one. <laughs> Electric boulder. Yeah, we had six tops, so it was quite an easy boulder. And then I think that's uh, because I wrote down unbalanced setting. Like in, in the men's round, we had like the electric boulder was also the easiest. But mm. then we had like a three different guys with a top on each respectively yeah. like other boulder and i don't think we have this now but uh, i think we're moving to boulder number two our favorite boulder yeah uh, just ah, well, last ah, thing on the electric ah, boulder i think yeah. i think the last thing on the electric boulder is that it's um it was a good like quick start to the competition yeah. lots of lots of entertainment early on yeah. um and also it's really impossible to predict who will do it and who will not yeah. do the other boulders, yeah. whatever. So it's okay. It was entertaining, yeah. and I think I think the audience yeah. was entertained. And what I liked is that the, the that the start itself was already scoring. Yeah. Like because like the five was just like one hold after the start position. Yeah. And the start itself was already like yeah like a little crux. And I think they solved this like pretty well. Yeah. And the boulder felt like. Even though it had like three different sections, it still felt like a like a boulder which could be set with only one zone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's true actually. And I think I think you could say the same for the coordination boulder, uh, the the fourth boulder. Yeah. That, I, I can imagine that being just a normal World Cup boulder. Yeah. Super cool. Same with the men's coordination the previous day. Um, but yeah, yeah. Our, our favorite boulder probably the the slab. Yeah, amazing! Just super, super cool. I, I, I like, love that. Right? Yeah, like uh, like the, the the boards, like how they assembled the boards, like that. Mm -hmm. You had to kind of like step like out of it, like out of your of your center of gravity, step back with the right foot. Uh, that was pretty dope. They, they like, although it was still, it was still you go up and you traverse cross. Although it was that same setup thing, like the boards, they use the boards in a way where. Uh, the depth kept adjusting. Um, yeah. I thought that was quite cool. I don't. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think it was a shame that the the one the the turnout and face the crowd wasn't completely forced. Like the foot swap for sure was was going to be the harder variation. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, just just a great another another great slab bowl. Every single slab at this competition has been really, really good, really tidy. Yeah, I think yeah the slab itself was good. I think the top was a little bit too easy, ten to twenty five. Uh, and again, we had six tops. Like only Chehun and I didn't top. The mm. rest of the climbers topped it. And comparing it with the man slab, which was significantly harder, more difficult. Again, it didn't split like the. the the really really good technical climbers from like they are all pretty good but like i think if they push the slab a little bit more difficult like we will see more separation <coughs> yeah but i think it was also cool to see <coughs> because yanya slipped a few times mm. and i think then uh, her head started to to, to work and something yeah, happened I, th I think yanya did it third go in the end which is yeah kind of surprising uh, although although yanya doesn't completely love slab i think it's fair to say slab is her if if she has a weakness, slab is the only possible weakness. Yeah, um, uh, yeah our, our commentary team was saying that maybe um, maybe after the turnaround to the twenty five, or after the turnaround to the final hold, maybe there could have been one more just small but quite hard accuracy move of some description. Yeah. I think maybe that would have been more complete. But yeah, yeah. You said this turnaround move a few times. Do you think it's difficult? Like once you know like what to do, do you think it's a difficult enough move like to uh, get people off the wall? Wow. Mm, yeah, I mean, without trying it, it's hard to say. But yes, prob probably yes. Mm. I, I just I would have liked to see maybe one one yeah. move after the rotation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Dro dropping dropping down onto a small foothold that's attached to a no tech surface. You're facing the crowd, and remember, this isn't slab. This is a vert wall yeah. with volumes on it. I think, yeah, I think it was hard. I think it was okay. hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it worked out. But I think for for my taste, like too many too many tops. But yeah, let's see. Um, well, like this is a question. Like, should all the bowlers have like the same difficulty? Because we're moving into bowler number three now. And either you want to have like one easy bowlers, one easy bowler, and then three bowlers like with a clear separation. But then the separation happened on the third bowler, which was the power bowler. Uh, I don't r remember how many points Cheon Seo had, but Aaron, who's quite strong, had zero points. Yeah. Osh had five points, and then coming I coming in Aimori, and she topped it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 totally. She just doesn't, like she just doesn't let go. Yeah. yeah. Did you like the move, like this uh, construction the, underneath the... I, I'd like to know how they intended it, because it didn't look like you were supposed to match the the slot. Yeah. It didn't look like you were meant to match that five-point thing, mm. Um, mm. you know? So yeah. it, look, it looked like you were supposed to go into it right hand and then release into the, into the ten, the higher slot. But mm -hmm. no, I think Yanya tried it and didn't do it. Um, Brooke and I both did the did the grotty match. Mm -hmm. So did I like it? Yeah, I kind of did like it, but it was clearly <laughs> it was clearly way harder than the other three boulders. Yeah, which is and which is problematic. Yeah, and again, like there was no separation between tw ten and twenty five. Like yeah. every time they reached the ten, they got the top, and the top looked. Compared to the beginning, looked like piss. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Um, I think it was maybe too. Maybe, maybe the five was actually too hard to get. Also, mm. so the yeah. five was too far away, and twenty-five was too close. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. 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 I wonder if, like, the difficulty assumption, or like just like guessing difficulty, would be easier. I, I think. So far, there were like two women, uh, Tanaki, oh sorry, like there was a Japanese setter, woman, female setter on the team, yeah. and there was Olga. And Olga, yeah. And I guess like with more women on the team, uh, with more experience, like more women setting like for the women category, like they would be better at guessing yeah. like the difficulties for the slap and for the athletical. The, the, the Japanese setter, is she, is she an ex-athlete, do you know? As far as I know, not. And I think she's also like more into rock climbing. But yeah, really. Okay. That's what I heard. But let's see. Um, yeah, maybe maybe we just put it out there, and then maybe we ask like more people. It would be cool to see a female setter who is like a previous, like an ex-athlete, because they yeah. they have they generally have a better idea of the the level. 
I'm not, and, I, and I'm not saying that Olga doesn't know the level. Clearly, she yeah. does. She definitely does, and she's able to test super hard, and she has no yeah. fear as well. Olga, Olga's fucking cool. Yeah. Um, but just yeah, it's a fair point. What you're saying, uh, perhaps. Yeah, perhaps the top was too easy. I don't know. Yeah. Like, like, if, if the beginning is so so difficult and so awful to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it looked like one of these uh, magic wood dark caves, like darkness to sunshine or whatsoever. Yeah. You, you know, like you're just like matching hands on nothing. Like, of course, like it has a purpose and it worked out, but it just looked awful. And it's a, yeah, again, again, it's because it's, it's partially because of the panel. It's just yeah. too steep. It, uh, yeah, it's just too steep. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ball I, 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 to be honest, I, I expected. I expected I to top it. Yeah. There, there weren't any. There weren't any like giant, giant moves, yeah. apart from perhaps just pulling on. Um, she just, she just doesn't let go. She's incredibly strong. Yeah, that's true. So that's why she's there. It's totally valid. <laughs> I think. Um, just back to the. Um, back to having four boulders, that need to be the same difficulty. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like in in this format. In this format, you need to test the level of the climbers equally, so it's really important that all four boulders are more or less the same difficulty. But in a World Cup, it's you don't have the pressure of this lead round coming up, mm -hmm. so so you can afford to have one boulder that's maybe slightly easy, just purely for entertainment value. Yeah. Um, whereas, yeah, in this format, I think it's kind of risky to have one slightly easier than everything else and maybe even one slightly slightly harder than everything else yeah. um yeah, yeah. It's so yeah it's super yeah. hard it's super yeah, hard job yeah it, it, it's like this format is like you have four different styles like which give only 25 points like if mm. you excel like in technique power uh, coordination or electric you get 25 points but then like 100 points like for endurance yeah it's uh, yeah, like the the yeah. If you, if you really see it like this, it's like yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm not happy with I, the format. I, I was speak. <laughs> I was speaking. Yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah. don't know. It it has it probably does have a place yeah. if they work out exactly the best way of scoring it. I think currently the the scoring is not quite perfect. Yeah. Um. I was speaking to Olga throughout the the boulder round, and she was yeah. stressed. She was. Uh, she was really worried because by the end of the round, she was like, "Ah, oh, fuck! We have we have no separate. We have basically no separation going into the lead." Yeah. So uh, yeah, she was she was stressed. And yeah, she, let's ask. We'll speak so, to her, I think, as well. Yeah, we should do this. And let's ask him like, w w what do they think is like a healthy separation, like going into the lead round? Is it like five points between each competitor? Is it like ten points? Be because you get a separation. Sometimes it's like one lead move. Sometimes it's like three lead moves. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find out. But we'll we'll speak to Sergio next yeah. week sometime. Um, mm. I think it would be cool to speak to Olga too. Let's get if, Olga on. If we can That's get great. Olga, that would be great. Um, Pretty sure. Okay, so the court, the uh, all, another boulder I really enjoyed, boulder number four, coordination boulder. Fantastic again, just fantastic. <laughs> Un unfortunately, we didn't get any tops this time, yeah. but it's that it's that whole thing where. You have a very clearly defined move to a five, very another very clearly defined move to the ten, and then another one to the twenty-five. Just really super clean, super cool, really exciting boulder. I loved it. I loved it. Okay. As much, I, I like. I think lashes lashes are done. They've had they've had their time, but yeah, yeah, that was a sick boulder. They still work. And I, I like that in the middle. Like usually, if you go like to like going to the ten, usually if you jump to something, you plant your foot, and you need to go like at the same moment like to the next hole. Usually, it's super difficult to achieve. Like if you're really good, like you can always stop on the first one. But yeah. like if if the foot is further to the right than uh, the hold, and uh, I like how they achieved this that yeah. you need to step and need, find the right foot position, right angle for your heel, push down. And honestly, like we had few people um, with problems, few climbers problems with catching the 10 and Shane yeah. and Seo, I don't know, like I need to go back like to the to, to the recording, she did that move, which was so really impressing somehow Che and Seo is, is a 
it's like a dino queen now <laughs> yeah. out and nowhere for, yeah and for this boulder it worked like the 10 to 25 even though we didn't get a top and i want to yeah i want to ah, yeah we need to ask sergio and olga like whether they have a picture of like the the pyramid of babylon like this decepticon <laughs> like the autobots <laughs> like this like this thing they created because it's super cool did you write me that or like someone else someone else thought like the the crimp which was inside of the slot might have been like a dual text yeah someone said that someone said this to me too okay i think someone thought it was like an upside down um like boomerang something but i i don't know for sure i can i can find out yeah we will find um i i think this this 10 to 25 move was kind of similar to the men's one um like really really precise and really really hard to do in four minutes um so like a totally valid 10 to 25 move uh just a bit of a shame we didn't get a top on it but that's okay and yanya got stuck in the like the start uh jug is really really deep Mm. and then they put like another blocker on top of it and i think she got stuck with her uh, with one of the fingers yeah you could clearly see it she still kept on trying and in the end, like nothing happened, but it, uh, yeah, shocked <clears throat> her a little bit. Yeah. Someone asked me on Instagram whether I think that the top moves need to be that dangerous or like that spectacular. And I said, like, considering the format, having like three, putting, like, you have to put like three different parts into it, sections. Mm. It needs to go sideways, and you want to have the selection. So we had these white falls, mm. and if the wall was one meter higher maybe they could have gone like higher or if it's just like one zone then you don't need to go like uh, don't make to don't need to make that much horizontal distance but uh do you have any thoughts about this like did you think it was dangerous or uh i don't i don't think it was i don't think it was dangerous but it's definitely Mm. it's definitely wilder than we've seen previously just because of the format just because you need uh more than one zone yeah um no, I, th- I think it was okay. It's just a bit wilder. Yeah. I don't think it was dangerous. Do you think it was dangerous? No. And I expect them also to be able to get, like, to fall and yeah. get back onto the wall. It's, it's, like, just, commi- it's just committing, right? It's really committing, like They're yeah. really, really used to it. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't set stuff like this, like a dyn- dyno like this in a commercial gym, but that's no. why, uh, why it's a World Cup and uh, Olympic Games. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. the the trap Yanya's trap um, that's something that can happen with with lache or lambada moves, especially when you um, when you put put quite a big swing on something and then if if you have trappage, yeah. it, it can it can ha- it can happen without you really realizing it, yeah. um, and it was a shame to see it happen to Yanya because it shook her like she I think she yeah. ended up she ended up having to do the move off off the one arm swing instead which yeah. was clearly like way wilder way harder to do um but it's impressive like that she that she can immediately like upscale like her her performance yeah, yeah. like uh, that's a weird way to say it but like no, immediately no, like true. okay i cannot do it with two arms so i will just rotate with one arm and rotate around the axis and still yeah. able to do the move uh and, and a lot a lot of other people would have just walked off the mat i think yeah yeah, yeah. They would have been like, "Well, this is not possible now." Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, her her ability to adapt when when the stakes are so high is really really impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah. And probably like also impressive, like we talked about Yanya and a few other competitors, but Brooke just ended up like zero point four points behind Yanya after the bouldering round, mm. and that's such a consistent performance, like just staying behind Yanya, even though she came out before Yanya. Mm. But just like impressive, like super impressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, super cool. So yeah, like the bouldering round ended with Yanya three tops, four zones, or like uh, four, four like high and low zones. Then Osh with two tops, Aaron two tops, Orian two tops, and Jesse two tops. Then Aimori one top and Chehun zero tops. So close like first two spots, and then in third position Osh with fifty nine. Aaron 59, Orion 59, <laughs> Jesse Pills 59. And yeah, probably like this separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like. It's, it's pretty, yeah. pretty scary for the setters going into a, the lead round with all that 
all that tightness. But it, it, for us, as viewers, oh my god, yeah. what a show. That's what and, we need. And also, like, for people who don't know that, it's not the same setting team. Like, like there's a setting team for bouldering only and a setting team for lead only. So mm. it's kind of like the bouldering team tries their best, but then, yeah, that's it. Like, okay, the lead team takes over. And yeah, they gotta finish the job. <laughs> maybe, maybe they should switch it. Why don't we do this? Why don't we have the lead first and then the boulder? Maybe that's another way to change the format. I don't think it would be as entertaining though. <laughs> yeah, because you don't get that like you don't get yeah. that progression up the wall. It mm. would apply a different kind of pressure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. But uh, yeah, let's think about that. <laughs> So I thought um, I thought overall the lead route was slightly less entertaining in terms of moves and the climbing um, than the men's, but the the atmosphere, you know, like the the pressure and the building and the emotions was was really what made the show. Yeah. Um, do you have any any comments on the setting of the lead? I wrote down even less spectacular than the men's route. The men's <laughs> route. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no the men's the men's was spectacular Come yeah on. the men's was spectacular but the men's had like a drop down like they had the cross from pocket to pocket and the women's yeah. route had basically nothing kind of like, like the route itself like no one will remember any of the sections uh like the only hold i will remember is like the cheetah hold like the i think it's the 60 or after the 60 you know where i said like okay like where um well, I thought, okay, Aimori will never, like, pass this point. Uh-huh. And uh, Yanya climbed back and forth to clip again. And it uh, looked, yeah. like, just devastating. And, um, but, like, w regarding the moves, it just, like, was just pumpy. Yeah. And, but super boring to watch. Super boring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, absolutely savage. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry. It's like, like, like no, no campusing, no swinging. Like, even like a campus move pocket to pocket, and that's the thing. They could do it again. No no one gives a shit. Because bouldering, like, it's the same boulders. No one gives a shit what happened yesterday. Set us another 180 campus move or, like, a drop down with your feet or whatsoever. Yeah. Like, low risk. But this was just, like, left, right, left, right, left, right. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair. <laughs> fair enough. Okay. And, uh, I'm awake now. <laughs> and do you think that's... Do you think the fact it was so... Uh, unspectacular is why I was I was able to get to ninety six. I think I, <clears throat> I think no. I I got the highest. Yeah, mm. forty eight plus. No, like the, the spectacular stuff, like which was or like the, the campus move and the like the drop down, and then like traversing back to the right and doing like the finger pocket traverse. Like mm. at the man, it wasn't like difficult, difficult. It just powered them out a little bit, mm. but at least uh, there was something to watch. But like everything, what was important for the ranking happened in the 60 to 90 uh, part anyway which yeah, was true. the same for the women now as well and the mm. uh, and the 60 to 90 part is just like it's like mad max like y y <laughs> when you hit the thunder road it's just like uh, the fury road sorry that's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if you hit the fury road you know like you're out there in the scorching sun like every step just is could be your last step yeah, like yeah. everything up to 60 was a little bit mm, <clears throat> yeah, you're, my, you're uh, completely right, and I, but uh, I think that I think that's how it should be after sixty, where th this is where the entertainment is. Yeah, sure, yeah. but it could look better up to the sixty if it's <coughs> not really really difficult. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't have I don't have much to add on the lead. The lead is no. is certainly not my repertoire, but I would I would say my my biggest surprise was Oriane. Um, Oriane, in the, in the end, she came eighth. I really didn't expect that. It's very, very yeah. surprising. Yeah. Um, she had a, she had quite a bad boulder round, um, and I thought she would get higher on the lead. Mm. So that's that's my big surprise. What was your big surprise? Did you have one? Yeah, maybe Osh and Oriane. Uh, the only p two starters who dropped, like, uh, who fell below the 60. Mm. Like, they fell both at the 45. And, um, yeah, I think there was... Yeah, surprise, upset, a little bit disappointing, uh, and the rest was just pure fight. Like I loved how how Aimori like really fought and almost got the top hold. Jesse Pills yeah. kept it really well together. Like really, really surprised <coughs> that she made it up like so high. 
and a, and a big shout out to Erin, who has yeah. stormed onto the scene just this year, uh, yeah. and she's come fifth in the Olympic finals. I think we're going to see a lot more from Erin in the future. She's got yeah. a very, very good future ahead of her in, in the sport climbing world. Super cool yeah. to see. And then the Queen lead only <laughs> yeah, on lead third only. place which could be cool for the future if it's like really split up because Almori is definitely regarding and Cheon Seo as well like she pro she's proven it in the past dependent on the style of the setting and lead they can climb with Yanya hmm. and Yanya like she, yeah, she, she, she she like you saw the pressure like I was really afraid that she might slip for sure yeah <laughs> it's brutal, isn't it? It's just just one slip away from. It's e it's either gold or nothing, right? It's so yeah, brutal. Yeah, and I think that's what I wrote you. It's, it's it's like usually I think okay, you got only you kind of make only one mistake, but like in sprinting, swimming, like you usually do the mistake at the start, or if you do the turn from lane to lane, but. Like in climbing, you can do this one mistake in lead climbing on every move. Like, he could slip on every move. Yeah. So it's like, always like, ah, ah, ah. So, yeah, the and tension the can be a little bit too much for me. The likelihood of failure just keeps going up. Every single move, the likelihood of failure keeps keeps like, skyrocketing. It's yeah. like crazy, crazy pressure. Um, i got to say, I thought I thought climbing did did as, well, did um, did the sport super justice in, the, in this Olympics. I thought it was really, really entertaining. Um, Certainly compared to other other new sports. Um, Call it out, breaking. I mean, breaking was <laughs> fucking bullshit. There should be no there should be no medals for such a thing. <laughs> like, why is that a sport? It's kind of it kind of pissed me off a little bit. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, but 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 proposal: <laughs> if breaking stays in the Olympic Games, and then maybe hip hop freestyling, no, or, or, or battle rap goes into no. the Olympics, no. No, no. Okay. like if 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 breaking is in the Olympics, why yeah. is like darts not in the Olympics? Darts is an incredible sport. It's fantastic, but it's just but fat people. It's just fat blokes, but they're really good at darts. But maybe or, that's or, like, way in. snooker or pool or there's so many sports out there. Like squash, why is squash not in the Olympics? Yeah, anymore? but let it let it in. Like let let breaking go in. Then we can try to do it with uh, darts. Yeah, but uh, yeah. There is. There has to be a cap, though. I I found out that for every gold medal presented, yeah. you all, the winner also gets fifty thousand euros. Did you know oh, this? But, uh, that, that depends on the country. Like in France, you get a little bit more, but you get taxed higher. Philippines, you get an apartment, you get like shopping for free, you get all that. Like uh, it really depends on the country. Oh, oh no! I thought. Sorry, I thought it was the IOC giving out the cash. I thought you get cash prize as well as the gold medal. Ah, oh, that could be okay. I'm okay, but pretty, I think you're I'm pretty but, sure. But I think your uh, your original country, like your origin country, like gives you um, also different amount of money yeah, uh, uh, and taxation. Okay, okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like they can't just keep adding sports willy nilly because mm, eventually probably not. It, probably not. Yeah, th there must be a cap. Um, but looking at it now, like they should kick out like all that horse racing shit. <laughs> because, yeah, honestly, like I, I, I love a, I love a little bit of decadence, you know, like maybe, yeah. But I don't know, like riding a horse, like it's not good for the animals. No, it's just like it's weird. It's like but a weirdish. It, it's should, really, yeah. It's really hard to kick out because it's been there since the beginning. Probably. Yeah. Um, the the old sports, you know, they it's just impossible to get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah, but, but you're I think right. We did They're it. right. They should. <laughs> yeah. but but I think you're right. We did a great job. Like well, they did, we did nothing um, <laughs> for presenting uh, climbing. And of course, it depends like on each host country. I would be really interested in the way, for example, Alex Honnold presented the sports to hmm. the American viewership. Yeah. Um, because you don't w want to have it like too hilarious and too goofy, I think. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people loved it a lot of people did not understand the root setting part of it of the job or like that's of the, why, of the that's whole why thing. we're here that's why we're doing this we're trying to make the world better every day a little bit <laughs> and if you don't understand <laughs> us then you've got no no chance <laughs> oh i don't know yeah root setting is uh incredibly gray and confusing field mm -hmm. um mm. and it's always a gamble 
Like, uh, we're going to speak to Sergio about the pressure and about his thoughts on how the setting went. But it's yeah. it's an incredibly difficult job. Um, yeah. So big props to the setters. If it wasn't for the setters, we would we would have no entertainment. That's true. Big props to the setters. And this is time for our advertising break, where we <laughs> offer you to learn funky new school moves because if you if you're into setting already setting or you're looking for new inspiration you want to know how to set a boring lache we will show you <laughs> a palm down roll over a flag move a, a pedal move a run in toe hook toe hook catch whatsoever jake and i in the beginning of november we will host like uh, two workshops hopefully um each two days where we will show you how we set these moves uh, about the ingredients whatsoever we should have done this ad break at the beginning <laughs> <laughs> well, you can ju you you can just cut this out and put it at the beginning. You're editing, <laughs> but Nikki, uh, can you can you tell the people where they can buy tickets and where it's going to be held? It's all online. Uh, Climbholds.com. There is a slider uh, where Jake's and my beautiful faces are on it. We are setting something, and then there's a description. It's at the Franken Jura Academy, uh, close to Nuremberg in Germany. Um, we do it in English and German, um, so doesn't matter what you speak we will cover to all levels yeah and uh, yeah, we will have a lot of fun yeah i can't wait actually this is gonna be really fun <laughs> my it's yeah. one, of, one of my favorite things to do is teach people how to set dynamic moves you yeah know? when you yeah. when you really when you really understand it oh when it's so it. much so much fun to teach yeah i can't wait <sighs> at break over okay this was our olympic uh review number four yeah. Um, Great. I'm super right. psyched. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll see you in see you in four years' time. Bye. No, um, Yanya's Yanya's the goat. Yeah. Uh, yes. I was gonna I was gonna ask. Do you think? Do you do you think we're gonna see the the gradual fall now of Yanya? Do you think she's she, basically? Do you think she's peaked? No, I don't think she's peaked. But it's more like about the motivation. Ah, yeah, and, true. And I think it's more difficult to motivate yourself if you don't have an opponent, honestly. If you have yeah. someone you have to beat, or who beat you like several times, like we've seen them in the past, there's like in a lot of sports, if someone rises up to the old dog or like whatsoever, like and can, can bite you, whether the old dog wants to protect his or her crown. <laughs> But if it's just like the system and you have proven like in all different systems that you're unbeatable and they're just changing the system, but no one really comes close. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I don't know. Like uh, The question is like, does she love, like she loves competing clearly. Does she love rock climbing as well? Because she could mm. take time off and be like, okay, I'm doing nothing for three years except for rock climbing now. And then maybe I come back. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So we need, basically, she needs a challenger to come through the ranks. Who do you think that challenger could be? Yeah, I think we need a challenger. Uh, names oh, don't come so fast to me. Like Brooke yeah. and Natalia, they try a lot, or like they tried a lot, try a lot. But um, like they, they've both beaten her at, at points, and Aymari has beaten her, but not, yep. not often enough. Yeah, and not, yeah, not often enough, consistently enough, and not on the biggest stages. Yeah. So I don't know who could rise up to this, but there are a lot of like she's inspiring a lot of climbers to step onto the thingy. And what I'd love to see is like, I th did we talk about like uh, during the men's lead? I'd love to see uh, maybe for lead climbing if she could compete with a man. <laughs> yeah, I because feel if like they. Is yeah. it if it's not length dependent? Like, yeah, goodbye. I feel like it's about time there should be an exhibition event. Maybe yeah. Yanya, maybe Yanya could host the exhibition event. You know, yeah, it, we it should could, talk to her. But the it, Yanya but it, games. But it needs to be her. It needs to be her decision. Like she, I feel like she would have done it now already. Yeah. If she wants to compete with the men's, then she would have held this event. So maybe she doesn't want to do it. I don't. I, I, I don't, I don't think. So. I don't <laughs> think like. Not a lot of people like are into organizing stuff. I don't mm. think she she would be like, okay, I want to compete with them now. Like, I want to host and organize a competition. But like, we should definitely talk to Red Bull, which is one of her sponsors, just yeah. to pull it off. Um, yeah. Or like, yeah. But 
do you see any competitors rising up like i mean honestly honestly right now no um yeah. the the closest is probably probably natalia but natalia didn't even make finals yeah so i don't know it's going to be a, a little while i think until until there's a true challenger maybe yeah. erin maybe erin could be the challenger because she she's still young yeah um we will see yeah i hope for the sport she will take a time off will take some time off like two years of plastic competing and then try to come back yeah that would be cool that would be good for the story we, we need a rocky story you know like did, we need did, this <coughs> did she did you see that she went she went bouldering outside in the summer yeah and she did she did bugle highs and sit twice in a session bugle, like bugle bugle eisen sorry bugle eisen it's like the iron what does it mean it's like the iron like oh. a, an iron to um to like to iron your clothes iron your clothes yeah 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 because it's like ah i did not know that yeah i see i see clem loscott <laughs> what a visionary Do you know Clem Loscott? Yeah, yeah, like yeah crazy cool. climbs, crazy moves. <laughs> like you should check out his, like uh, some of his nine A's he did, like intermezzo and whatsoever. Like just like basically, I think, twelve, thirteen moves, and some of the routes he couldn't clip the bolts because it was too intense. Wow, wow, what Sick legend! Climber. Um, uh, sorry, what did you want? Yeah, like she, she went outdoors. She's crazy. Like she, she could, could climb nine B, nine B plus for sure. For sure, yeah, for sure. Oh, maybe yeah. more. She could do a nine C. Why not? She should go to go to Flatanger and try some nine C's. Um, yeah. She anyway, should. what I wanted to ask is, what's what's next for us? Are we going to be covering any more of the World Cup season? Are we going to be talking about what should we talk about next? Uh, we will talk about setting. Uh, let's see what we talk about. Like end <laughs> of the week. Let's see how our week goes um, mm. and what we do. Um, but we will try to invite more guests, uh, more knowledgeable guests, because our knowledge is just like, <laughs> empty. I'm drained. <laughs> Yeah. No, that's not true. Um, yeah, well. I got some topics written down. I got also some questions uh, from the last few weeks. And um, when it comes to the competitions, like we can talk about the bouldering competitions. I think there's just a European Championship coming up and uh, the bouldering yeah, World so. Cup in Prague. And we could yeah. talk about this with Sergio as well because he's chiefing. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, true. Yeah. Great. Is yeah. that, his fir that must be his first chief role. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. Super cool. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. What else is coming up in the next few weeks? We're just setting a little bit. Yeah. We're going back, to Font. Back to work. Yeah, we go to Font in October. If any of yeah. you are in Font in October, come and say hello. No. No? <laughs> oh, you are. <laughs> holiday. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. Don't, don't come and say hello. It's a holiday. Holiday. Okay. <laughs> I had, this, I, had this, I had this meeting with these people just like creeping up on me. Oh, this is your favorite ball. So, so no, 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 no. Maybe like if we're on vacation or like I don't have a problem if, pe if people coming up to me. Like I, I love talking about climbing. But like if you know me or like someone else like from the internet, for me, it's like really healthy. Intr if you introduce yourself also with your name. It, it, it's, it's Sorry, like I had a few occasions where people are just like, oh. You are Nikki. This is your yeah, favorite yeah, bowler, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Red 35 in uh, Rosh Hashanah, which is, yeah. by the way, impossible if it's like more than 15 degree. But I'm coming <laughs> back to you, fucking red. Um, like just it was fucking creepy, and I love to talk about like stuff, like what we do. But please don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's okay. I I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what you mean. <laughs> just just say hello. Yeah. Nice. No. <laughs> we'll talk about setting uh, this week or next week. Yeah, nice. We will be back. Easy. Okay. So thank you, thank you so much for listening. We'll see you yeah. soon. See you thanks, soon. Nikki. Nikki out. Nick yeah, thanks, Jake. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>